You gotta get a sauce on it. Please. Please get a sauce on this. Get something. Don't you don't you get it plain? Alright. Alright, let's do this. Today I got wing stop with this big old bag again. And I am so excited. Why? Because I just came out with chicken sandwiches and I love chicken sandwiches. So this is like really huge for me because what if, what if they're better than Chick-fil-A? I mean, it's a chicken joint. Oh, well, Chick-fil-A is a chicken joint too, huh? Okay. Oh, I didn't even give me a little smiley face. I didn't even notice that. Oops. I feel so loved. Thanks, Wingstop. I'm scared because I'm putting like hand sanitizer on and I got like a cut in my palm. Then I got ranch dipping sauce that goes with the hot. I just got a mild chicken sandwich and then I got a plain. You can you can do the chicken sandwiches however you want. They got like 11 different flavors, I think. 13, something like that. I was really tempted to get the um, spicy Korean barbecue one, but I just did a Korean barbecue video. So I was like, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Um, all right, so let's dig in, shall we? We shall. Oh, it's so hot. Hey, did you guys know they like toast? I wonder if this is like a toast, like grill type their bread situation. Look at that. I didn't, I didn't know that. So, yep, I got the mild. And it's going to have pickle on it too. Hmm. It's not bad. The mild is definitely mild, milding. It's not too spicy. I should have just got. I should have just got spicy and called it. They always have really good fries. I love the good home cut style. Like a little bit of skin left on it, but not too much. Chickens are good quality. That's what chickens looking like on the inside. If you like spicy things, like, but not super spicy, um, I still would say just go with the regular hot, because the mild is just, like, a buffalo flavoring. You gotta get in there, dip in the sauce. Let's try that. I think it's a really good grade of chicken. I just think it's a little... On the greasier side. No, you can see my hands, but. But. Right. Obviously, it's gonna be greasy because it was fried. Yes. But. It's a little. A little extra greasy. I really wanted to see what their plain tasted like. No frills. Like, what's what that seasoning talking about? You know what I mean? I did not want any, I almost said subtractions, distractions. Mm. I didn't want any distractions when it came to the chicken. So once again, okay, this is what the plane is looking like. Yeah. Okay. Um, it looks really good. Like a very crispy, but I'm glad they did not forget my pickles. I seen somebody else, um, film this and they were like oh no they forgot my pickles still no pickles I guess I should have tried to love the honey mustard first mmm hold on no seriously not much try without that hold on No, the honey mustard made it. So yeah, just the plain. It's not much to the seasoning.
Wait, it's good, but it's nothing special. So I would definitely, like, highly suggest, um, like a sauce with it. But I'm not mad at this. <sighs> Where flavors get its wings. Okay. Where flavors gets its wings. Like angels, eh? Is that what we're going for? Hmm. So I'm trying to think. Which one's my favorite? I don't know. That honey mustard. That honey mustard might have just did something with it, though. The honey mustard sets this off. I'm like, is it better than Chick Fil A? Mm, still no, because I still like Chick Fil A seasoning a bit better. But I don't hate this. I'm not mad at my purchase. So the sandwich alone is like mm, five something, and um, the meal is like seven forty nine type thing going on. Round to eight, like seven fifty, something like that. My favorite of the two of these. Probably be this one, just because it has something on it. I really wish they had like mm, a deluxe, because I love chicken sandwiches when they have cheese on it and lettuce and tomato. But I understand they are a wing place. And not asking for too much. But no, their fries are really good. Um, honestly, I wish where my northerners at, because the southerners are not going to get it. I really want some malt vinegar for my fries. Mmm. I just put some on there. Oh my goodness gracious. You don't go to many restaurants down here and see um, malt vinegar for fries. Like, you just don't. Um, it was very popular up north, especially like in Ohio. I haven't seen a couple on restaurants in New York here. Whenever I tell people that, they look at me like I'm crazy. They're like, ew. <laughs> Don't knock it until you try it. If we wanted to see what this one looks like, just naked. Here we go. But honestly, you gotta get a sauce on it. Please. Please get a sauce on this. Get something. Don't you don't you get it plain? Alright. Even if you don't like saucy things, get, they got lemon pepper dry rub, they got, um, the parmesan dry rub, um, thing I saw, I don't like garlic parmesan dry rub, please don't, don't, don't do it, don't you spend your almost $8 on a plain sandwich, this plain, alright, you been more, I mean, unless you just like, I'm not going to say that. Okay. Hmm. Stop staring, start tearing. I didn't know this tape said that. Stop staring, start tearing. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, this, it's bad. See? No? I don't know. Can I just tell you, raspberry lemonade from the freestyle machine, it's going to bust every time. It really will. Alright, that's all I have for you guys today. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for new videos every Monday. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.